Professor Buxton, thank you so much for joining us here at the Bologna Center. Um, could you please explain why did the United States and other international actors begin to intervene in the drug trade in Latin America? Well, primarily because Latin America is in the U.S. sphere of influence, which meant that for the United States, pushing back the possible threat of drugs coming up through the, from the Southern Hemisphere was actually seen as being quite central to the U.S. security interest. So we see the U.S. really beginning to take a more proactive role in pushing back narcotics from South America, really starting in Mexico in the late 1960s, trying to push back the marijuana that was coming up through Mexico then, and then really taking off in the 1970s with President Nixon under the war on drugs. In the past, how have anti-drug efforts been structured? Very much focused on um, preventing the supply of drugs coming into consumer countries, the leading consumer countries of the world really being the United States, uh, many of the West European countries. So the way that counter-narcotics efforts have been focused has been very much on preventing that supply coming into their countries rather than addressing demand side issues in the consumer states themselves. Not only has it been a question of really trying to reduce the supply that's been coming in, it's also been very heavily focused on militarising and securitising the drugs issue, which has in turn translated into financial support for the defence sector and the security sector in Latin American countries. Finally, currently what changes in drug policy are being advocated by the Latin American countries? What the Latin American countries are doing is um, fascinating and quite revolutionary in terms of the 100-110 year history of the international drug control system in that they are challenging the fundamental premise of drug policy control which to date has been based on criminalisation, supply focused activities led by the consumer countries of the global north. What the Latin American countries are requesting through the Cartagena summit and the resulting OAS Organization of American States document is that we have a public health focused approach, that we look at education um, and that we are very much focused on trying to address demand side issues rather than simply focusing on weaponizing, militarizing and securitizing the drugs question. Thank you so much for speaking with us.